But Karishma, the impact is expected to be pretty severe and India could be bracing up for an oil shock pretty much like other parts uh, of Asia, in fact. And that's because, like the analyst pointed out, about 85% of India's crude is imported. And that, along with higher commodity prices, would basically mean that India's import bill would go up by an estimated $100 billion. Now, this directly puts pressure on the country's current account deficit, Karishma, which is a gap uh, in revenue from uh, imports and exports, and that's likely to go up uh, to a decade high of over 3%. Now, we've already seen the rupee plunge to a historic record low earlier this week, and that weakness will persist as well, which means higher imported inflation. Uh, this will have a knock-on impact on India's GDP as well. Uh, most economists that I spoke to suggesting that there could be severe downside risks uh, of about 1% to 1.5% from their earlier projections. Uh, and uh, according to a brokerage, Nomura, for every 10% increase in crude oil prices, India's GDP could be shaved off by as much as 20 basis points. And I think last but not least, Karishma, very, very important is the inflationary impact of all of this at a time when India is already facing very, very high prices. If the prices of petrol, diesel, uh, cooking gas go up, that has a knock-on effect on things such as transport cost, on company margins as well as disposable income. So the Reserve Bank of India really has its work cut out in terms of containing inflation right. as well. Indeed, Nikhil and Amda there. Thanks so much for joining us.